what has to happen. We, we all know what's happening. Is that what that means? Sometimes in people's like Instagram stuff as well. <laughs> RIP. There I was thinking, oh, this person really likes plants. Yeah. No. I'm upset about this. I thought that meant like uh, someone's just like trying to say that they're a uh, vegan. <laughs> Single vegan brain composition. Superiority. Loneliness, yes. Recipes at the back. I've got, I actually never memorized the me recipe. I don't really follow recipes. I'm just like, mmm, this tastes nice. It probably tastes quite nice with this. Detection of the plot emotional Tinder. Oh, okay, well, Tinder's getting, um, Tinder's getting a, a shout out today on Vegan Circle Joke. Damn. How I sh posted myself into veganism. I'm kind of, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of, I'm kind of uh, curious. Time for a little story, my fellow vegans. About a year ago, I was drinking with some friends and I mentioned the vegan diet to them. One of my friends responded with, veganism is not a diet, man, it's a lifestyle. <laughs> that would be me, I'd be like, excuse me, um, veganism is not a diet. I don't know why, but I was just too, it was just too at the moment. It was just too at the moment, you know, it was at the moment. After that, we started joking about veganism using vegan for anything we thought was cool. If someone did something cool, we were like, that's pretty vegan. <laughs> As time went on, we went deeper and deeper into the vegan lore. And at some point I just started cooking every vegan every time I met with these friends. And finally, a few months ago, I just transitioned to the lifestyle, literally because I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> that's how I made myself into be being vegan. <laughs> P.S. I'm vegan. Yeah, like you gotta make sure that your foundations of animal rights are like really solid. That's why like memeing yourself into it is more than acceptable. In fact, if you didn't meme yourself into it, then like, are you even vegan, bro? <laughs> Damn, that's the most vegan thing I've read today. And I'm vegan. How do I get my fiber? My doctor is angry about it. eBay. <laughs> what is this? I can't deal with this sub. I really can't. Just found out Panera broccoli cheddar isn't vegetarian. Oh yeah, you gotta be careful with that uh, cheese breathing. There can be like the stomach lining or the enzymes uh, of like baby animals in there. You <laughs> know, delicious. Any other vegetarians still eat meat broth? I don't count it because there's not chunks. <laughs> If there were chunks in your meat broth, then <laughs> the, um, you know, the oil and the fluids that have been caked in, uh, you know, the bodies of animals, that's fine. But like, if there were a chunk of it in there, <laughs> still paying for the same thing. I don't understand. To be fair, it's a byproduct. They don't kill animals for broth. They make it with leftovers. It makes it any better. It's highly unlikely meat broth creates a demand for animal agriculture. The bones used to make it otherwise. Work. I don't understand this kind of just capital idea, you know, monetary. Well, as long as it doesn't, you know, money isn't involved, you know, then it's fine. It's like, I don't think that like, if um, so, say in a Western culture, if someone was like, oh yeah, um, this, this broth, we used like a dead dog or a dead cat, you know, we took them off the street, um, you know, they were free roaming and everything, they were having a really good time, you know, so they'd live like basically a free range life, and we put them in the broth, it's like, I think people would be like, no, I don't care if there's not a chunk of this animal in it, I'm not gonna eat this broth, because, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like, why are we just like, oh, well, you know, it doesn't, doesn't add to the demand, so, <laughs> it's like, yeah, but that's got, like, the fluid of an animal in it. It's been cooked in their body. It doesn't matter if you can't, like, physically, like, you won't physically get a part of their body. It's just not right, is it? <laughs> Oh, oh, thank you, Jill Sweet, for subscribing. They probably don't even know that they're, they're probably not watching my stream right now. <laughs> they probably just like watch one of my videos and be like, yeah, right. I'm vegan, but I'm also not. Ugh. Ugh. Someone hold my hand. Yeah, I'm vegan and I still eat eggs since they are unfertile ones, but I also only buy from grass fed. I'm vegan, but I'm not vegan. <laughs> oh, come on, this is gonna be a joke. You know how pe like freaking vegan circle jerkers just shit post under comment sections. This has to be they can't be serious. Stocked for the week. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> cats man, they're just like ridiculous. 
<laughs> cooking up a low key. Yes, I'm vegan. Yes, I eat cats. Yes, we exist. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I need to uh, follow these people. I want my Instagram to be like Mimi as well. Let me let me go and hang on. If anyone has an Instagram, let's check out Vegan Revenge. Oh my god, again with the plant base. You know what? I'm assuming this is something in America because Philly cheesesteak, right? It seems to be a big problem in the US where they can say plant based while there's like animal products in it. And I understand there's no clear definition of what plant based is and blah 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, I know. Right? But there needs to be. <laughs> there needs to be for clarity. What's that? Oh, we've had another sell, lad! Subscribe. Are, are people actually subscribing? I don't, I don't know. Thank you! I eat dogs, eggs, it's ethical. My uncle's farm is so super duper ethical. Dogs jump, skip, and sing to their deaths willingly since he gives them such good life. Since at least, it's the least they can do for him. Yeah, I know. It's the least that they can do. I really can't stand it when people do all this crap that's like, well, I gave them this, therefore I can literally take away their autonomy and their lives from them. It's like, it's not even surprising that people say this shit because it's like, it just reminds me of like, parenting that's like, I gave you food and shelter and the bare f minimum. Therefore you have to do all these things that I ask of you that are really invasive or like unfair to you. Like people have this kind of like self entitlement of I gave this, therefore it's fine for me to like get whatever I want in return. And that's just like not f***ing okay at all. It's just not a good mindset to have. Um, it annoys me a lot. Yeah, it's messed up plant. It is, it's very uh, misleading. I'm of the idea that people know plant-based to mean no animal product, you know? Because when people will be like, well, I'm plant-based, so I am vegan. Or they'll be like, oh, I'm nearly plant-based because I do eat some animal products. That infers that they know that plant-based means, you know, uh, no animal products. If people did this to humans, there would be riots and it wouldn't, would be against our rights so why isn't it against the animals lives you know what's like shocking like when you look into like things happening you're just like how could people get away with doing this and that includes to human beings we've got such a long way to go with respecting the autonomy and lives of other people i imagine like this kind of like future that's maybe like it maybe it could be a kind of like the expanse sort of thing where people have like moved to space and all of that i mean maybe maybe nobody will ever see it this way but maybe this will be the era um they'll they'll call this the era where we started realizing because um a lot of the planet has uh the kind of like basic hierarchy of needs figured out not really most in terms of like uh population i don't think but we're getting there with it, right? So the needs are available. And I say that in quotations because like technically, I guess they're not because like you need money for that and not everyone can get money. But basically it's somewhat more accessible to get your needs. And when we come further and further away from uh, like just needing to tend to our needs, then I think we have more time to kind of talk about things that you know, we should be implementing. Uh, and maybe the people will look back and see that this was a time where there was a turning point where we were like, oh, maybe, maybe people's lives, you know, it's not just our own and our direct family that matters. You know, maybe, maybe others have their own lives and their own needs, their own, you know, their own desires. And, you know, maybe that is important. Perhaps I'm thinking there is a turning point because of, like, globalization. Understanding that we do have, like, an impact. It goes further and further. Like, when you have to think bigger and think of more, the, the needs of your family and all of that, they become not less important, but there's stuff on top of that. And I don't think there's really been a time where we've had an opportunity or a need to really think outside of our family. I have heard it can mean like 90% the products shouldn't be labelled like that. No, it should either be this is plant based, no animal products, or you know, 2 trillion annually slaughtered land and sea animals watching anti vegans argue veganism is bad because it kills around 7.3 <laughs> billion animals yearly in crop production. <laughs> oh. So, I found this poem I wrote back in high school before I was vegan. Foreshadowing is strong with this one. 
an extremely rare find, it's titled. On the plate in front of me laid a dead carcass, steaming and sizzling in its putrid aroma, sneaking its way into my nose and through my churning stomach, boiling in its own blood, oozing from the red flesh. A pig squealed in my ear, begging for mercy that was long gone. I stared at the dead life form in front of me, wincing at its glutinous exterior. I picked up my fork, relentlessly plunging into the thick skin. My knife sliced through the surface. I inspected the subject, like a surgeon about to perform for the first time. Scalpel in hand, gloves slick and smooth, carefully cutting a slither off the end of the flank, inching the fork closer and closer into my mouth, reluctantly grazing it with my tongue before quickly shoving it into the rancid taste occupied my mouth as I attempted to smile and say, it's delicious. I need to um, release some animal rights poetry. It's disgusting being a writer and just not writing. It's actually rude, really, isn't it? Uh, this is, yeah, it's about as foreshadowing as it gets. <laughs> it doesn't get more foreshadowing than that. This is the future Carnis want. <laughs> what the hell? What? <laughs> oh my god, this video. There's some. This, this video is kind of blessed though. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> There's something special about that video. Holy crap. Ew, we see them again. Pick me, pick me. Omnis before and after being called out. I don't care about animals having their throats slashed or being shredded alive or having their babies taken and nothing you say will ever make me care. Go cry about it. Also, I'm gonna eat a steak tonight. <laughs> I can't believe you're calling me a bad person because of our differences in opinion. This is why nobody likes you because you're such mean people. Go on to vegan wine golf. I'm tempted. I'm tempted to go to the vegan wine golf. I'll do it. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> My um, freaking only true aim in life is to be that famous that I end up on here, on the great British <laughs> vegan wank off. Uh, oh yeah, I posted that. Oh, <laughs> what the other the devil? What? I didn't notice that. Real life footage of two oh, such vegan UK users being for the first time colorized. <laughs> what? Yeah, I am almost, basically. Basically. I mean, I literally do things that just really, like, quite blatantly aren't.